All right, now I couldn't wait to get to this I, one I either. Know. I swear to you, this comes from another time. This it you does. did not just make this. I, how how could you possibly have just made this? Honestly, isn't that amazing? You know, I had the idea. I wanted to do something different with the black, with the yellow gold and the black rhodium, and the lapis to bring in a different right. color, um, which has a crystal on top of it. So you kind of have a two layer on the inside. You have 24 diamonds. Now, I want to tell you, these are what would look like antique diamonds. So these are not the diamonds from like part of my other pieces. Remember, they are made to look like this is a piece from the Renaissance. That's what, exactly. you know, um, from days gone by. So this is a different kind of diamond, but there are 24 of them. If you look on the side, the design on the side is just as beautiful as the top. And then you have the diamond on either side of the ring. Oh I mean, honestly, there isn't a place that isn't beautiful. Even if you turn it over, you can see there's a design on the back. I have been tweeting about this ring. I put it on the minute I, I finally got it and have not taken it off. I wear this every single day. I can't I'm completely imagine. obsessed with this yeah, I, You know what? I am, too. And you've had this on. We co I commented, well, on your on your tree of life and this right. <laughs> this ring. And when you get it in your hand as well, you know that you have a serious piece of jewelry. And you're going to see the depth of the, the, depth of the lapis. This looks like it came from, I don't know, the Titanic or something. I, it really does. And right. again, you know, in having small hands... I would normally ha have possibly thought that this would not work on my hand. But look, I I'm wearing it all the time. It's beautiful. And I, mm -hmm. I think it looks great. I really love it. But it is. There's, this, there's a romantic feel to this. It's of days gone by. Um, and the lapis, you know, just has that, that beautiful hint of blue. I'm noticing that as I'm wearing it, it's actually getting deeper, a deeper in color. Right. And don't you just want to know the story of the lady the story who wore that. this? Right. That's, well, you know what? <laughs> right? You're going to be the lady be the who one. wore this. And you're going to pass it on because of this jewelry is all worthy of being heirloom jewelry. Now, underneath, if we could just take a look at, again, underneath the, right. the ring, just here, the, let me the show cage. You here. Right. The cage underneath. Silver. You, and it's all done with the black rhodium. Mm -hmm. But again, if you can see, look, there's a design underneath. And I just want you to see the workmanship here. I really was so blown away. You know, when, when you think about something and you, you're talking to the designers and, and it all comes together, and, and when I got it home, I, I just could not believe it. And okay, every so one of my friends is like, okay, I'm buying that. That's it. That's now, the ring. when you first had the idea, mm -hmm. and did you have to go back and forth a few times? Always. Because, right, because I Always. could, I mean... I, I was going to say, like, if you got this, if they got it right the first time, oh, my gosh. No, they got it right geniuses. the first time. Well, but this I, is beautiful. There's always a conversation. I'm always, mm -hmm. this is my idea. This you is, change this is my thought. Absolutely. Then I'll look at a drawing, and I'm like, you know, I think I'd like to, I'd like to do something in a different color, and this is the feeling I want. And, and that's what we did with this ring. This is magical.